technology is cool until it breaks. Enter the Geek Squad. We make technology work in home, in store, online, over the phone, and here, or here, or here, or one of the other Geek Squad service centers across this great land. But what happens at these service centers? For years, they've operated in the shadows until now. So join us as we go inside the service center. In Chino, California, the day begins with a truck of misbehaving product and a smile. We repair everything. <laughs> There's the smile. You name it, we do it. We repair about 1,200 pieces of product daily. It takes two days for it to ship here, and then it takes maybe the two days to ship back. So any delay in the diagnosis is a hardship for our customers. My team, they offload the truck, and they try to do it as quickly as possible. We're inspecting the boxes for any damages, and we do what we call a detail check. We're looking for the accessories, the models correct, and any damages that came to the unit during shipping would be caught then. If there's nothing wrong with it, we send it out to the technician, and they try to repair it as soon as possible. Our goal is 16 or 17 a day, but sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. The complaint is that the lens does not retract, and obviously it's going back and forth, which means it's a defective lens. Most of the parts that we have here are in stock. It's going to take five to 10 minutes until I get the part here. We're gonna get the pick order from the printer. We go through the aisles, go to the assigned location, grab said part, and deliver it. Mr. Marion, I got your part. Yes, sir. You know, when I was younger, when I first started, I would dream about screws, transistor, capacitors, not anymore. And uh, do a functional test really quick. It's looking good. Got my pictures, my little fan right here, because it gets hot in the jungle. Sometimes we don't have parts locally in stock. We're going to contact one of our vendors and uh, get that part to come in. Usually takes about three to four business days. I have had laptops that came in because they were shot by a gun, ran over by a car, and voila, here we have a hard drive. Whatever laptop is, is brought to me, that's what I'm gonna fix, and, and we're gonna get it resolved some way, somehow. Then it's shipped, it's shipped the same day, and it's either shipped through what we call our shuttle service, if it's a local store, or it's shipped from UPS, and that would be second day air. 2,700 miles to the east, the shipping and receiving process is eerily similar. But the accents, a little more Jersey. Guys just unloaded some product off a trailer, came over an electronic forklift, two guys take everything out, they send it right over here. This is all our receiving area. It's a great place to work at. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna say, have fun while being the best, and it's really what it is. As soon as I punch in, the fun begins at seven, yeah. Murphy. Our boss, uh, Fred Pomer, um, he always comes around and asks you how you're doing and how's the family going, you know, he's a, a very family oriented. How's baby doing? Yeah, he's doing good. Yeah, how old six months. He's creeping now. Six months. Yeah, yeah, and the first word was daddy. And our really? second word was best buy. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, Jimmy next to me and I have Albert next to me and uh, we work together. Whenever there's a new problem, an old problem, we huddle and see, you know, was uh, the way to fix it. 70 years experience right here. So I help Murphy out often. He helps me out, I help him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hand in hand we go. We don't have instruction manuals on every single unit that we do. We have to use our own ingenuity. I don't know everything, but between all of us that work here, we do know everything. The um, unit's not playing DVDs. It's also not burning properly. When a technician can troubleshoot from a point where he's told exactly what's wrong, that makes our job so much easier. Some of these are like puzzles that you have to uh, put back together. Now, kids, don't try this at home. Gary is a computer tech, he's a television tech, and he's an audio tech. Uh, Gary can do it all for us. Like Gary, our service centers are virile and versatile, but there's one place where their mission is singular, a place so big it needs its own municipal government. My name is Wes Snyder. I'm the mayor of Geek Squad City. Geek Squad City is 165,000 square feet, responsible to about 900 stores for fixing uh, customer computers and laptops. On a normal week, you know, it's 16,000 laptops, desktops, computers. 
So our record week, a couple weeks in January, we did over 22,000 repairs in one week. The first UPS truck arrives at Geek Squad City at 5 a.m. Uh, we get three to five semi-trucks full of laptops, depending on the day. Receiving usually receives the unit in and makes sure that we've got the correct unit, that the paperwork matches. And then they put it on the racks for, for it to come out to the teams. And then we diagnose it, find out what the problem is, hopefully the parts available locally when we order it. And it comes in, we put the part in, and then it goes through several post-testing procedures. A number of those then move on to our quality control area. And from there, it goes to our shipping area and is shipped out, and our last shipment leaves at midnight. Your laptop isn't going out to some third-party vendor. It is Geek Squad that's preparing it and making sure it's done right. We also have a service at Geek Squad City that offers data recovery. It uh, began a faint clicking, which is an indication that the internal mechanics are failing. The memories that are stored on those items uh, are priceless. We like the challenging things. <laughs> If we get it in and it's something that hasn't been completely destroyed, we're able to take care of it. We should be able to complete this recovery uh, using a level two recovery process. At home, I spend quite a bit of time on the computer, if uh, one could guess. <laughs> what I do outside of work is pretty much the same thing I do here. I didn't think I would get as absorbed by the uh, culture and the job as I have been, but I've been totally sucked in. We've opened up units and found frogs, lizards. One time I had to take a snake out of a computer. And I've seen locusts, hail, and other plants. That was pretty weird. That was pretty weird. But what's not weird is the righteous skills of our service center employees. They work hard and they play hard. This is break time. But mostly they work hard and they never forget who they're working for. When I repair something, I'm doing it for the customer. The computer that I'm working at is mine, and I want to take care of that as though it were my child. We found that bringing the repair and controlling it ourselves and having our own technicians accountable for the quality is just so much better. I definitely put myself in the customer's place and ask myself what would I do or how would I want to be treated. There may be 300 laptops on my line right now, but that's 300 customers, they're not just laptops. It's always about the customer. The better job we're able to do working together, the better their experience is gonna be. If we can make that go smoothly, they're gonna be a much happier person.